Hello everyone! Welcome to Red Baron's Gaming Unboxing of Star Wars Masterwork 2020 card set. Um, if you've been following, this is the second uh, box that I'll be unboxing. Uh, I've already unboxed one on the channel um, this past weekend. Uh, and that box was, in my opinion, a bit of a bust. Um, we didn't really receive any really neat uh, uh, hits. Uh, no sketches, no plates. Uh, no uh, low, uh, you know, low edition sized uh, blue cards or anything like that, purples. Um, so this uh, box hopefully will do much better. Uh, personally, I'm very much interested in getting sketch cards. I think those are really neat, uh, unique uh, sketched cards that the artist draws directly on the card. It's a one of one essentially. They only do one of them. Um, so those are really cool. I love artwork. Uh, so that's really what I'm after. I'm not personally so interested in autographs, but obviously if we get a really cool autograph um, of, of a cool character, then that would be great. Um, but without further ado, let's get to the unboxing. So we're going to open this bad boy up here. And see what we get. <clears throat> Take a look at our first mini box inside. Put that off to the side there. Alright, let's take a look here. So, our first card is a Django Fett standard, a Claude standard, an Empire Strikes Back, and interestingly, actually in our first mini box, we are missing a hit. So we only have four cards, Ice World Hoth, 40th Anniversary, Empire Strikes Back, and a Green Lando, which we actually got in the last box as well. 13 of 99, this one. So hopefully one of the next packs here is has six cards. Otherwise, we'll have to write a note into tops for a missing hit. Okay. Unboxing the second box here. We have a uh, Ranzar Malik, oh, Saul Guerrero. We have a autograph card here, a foil autograph of Do, which is actually really cool. Lynn Robertson Bruce is Do, and this is a four out of fifty foil autograph card, which is really neat. Oh, excellent! So we do have a. Um, sketch card in this pack as well. This is a two hit pack, which is great because it makes up for the last one. Let's take a look. This is Candace Daly, and it says it's a three out of three. I'm wondering if this is a, um, if this is a mural of some sort that she's done, uh, where there are two other ones, uh, because typically these are, I mean, obviously they're unique, but uh, let's take a look and see what it is. Oh, that's really cool. Ray, and Finn. Oh, this is beautiful. It's painted. Let's give you a closer look at that. That's really nice. So it does look like this is actually part of a maybe a larger scene that she's done. Uh, so there are uh, one of two and or one of three and three of uh, and two of three out there somewhere where it matches. Uh, that's very cool. Uh, we have a do or do not. There is no try. And we have a blue commander Cody. Oh no, 
Um, yes. That's interesting. I thought the blue cards, the blue backed cards were um, limited, but I don't see that. I don't see an addition number on this one. That's interesting. Excellent. I'm very happy that we've gotten a sketch though. That's fantastic. I've been uh, I've been wanting sketches, <laughs> so so that that's really what my collection is going to be. Uh, this uh, do is really neat, also. Cool. So there we go. That's a very nice pull there, in my opinion. Put these off to the side. Open up the next mini pack here. So far, through two uh, packs here, already this is a much better pull. But, oh, interestingly enough, Again, the second pack, or the third pack, only four cards, so no hit in this one either. We have a Lady Proxima. We have a Second Sister. We have a Duel on Cloud City. Empire Strike Back 40, uh, 40th Anniversary. And we have a Blue Trudgeon. I think I need to look up these blue-backed cards, because I was under the impression that the blue... The blue cards are um, limited, but apparently this Trudgeon is also also uh, not similar to the Commander Cody. So that's interesting. But again, this is two boxes in this pack that do not have a um, do not have a hit. So it'll be interesting to see here what we get in our final one. I'm hoping it's two, and I'm hoping one's a sketch. I won't complain if that's the case. And it does feel more substantial, and it, it is quite thick, so. Maybe a medallion. Oh, but there are six cards. So that's good news. So we are still waiting for one more autograph. We have a Xion. We have a Navigating the Asteroids. We have a Michael Pennington. Um, is this also a foil? No, this is a base uh, signature. Michael Pennington as Moff Jajarad. And then we have a Qui-Gon stamp uh, card with uh, Darth Maul, which is pretty cool. Imperial Death Star Gunner, and a blue ray, and again, not limited, so interesting, we'll have to look into that. So overall, um, just a quick recap, the blues are ray, Commander Cody, and uh, where did he go? And Trudgeon. We have some neat moments here, but nothing really special. Um, and then the hits are actually the, the Dio is really cool, and the um, that Ray uh, artwork is really neat. Uh, Ray is not my favorite character, I would say, but uh, it's really awesome to get sketches. Um, I think they're a really cool, uh, really cool part of this set and what uh, Tops and Masterwork are doing. I think that, to me anyway, that's the biggest draw. I'm not really that much into the autographs, uh, but the sketches are really cool. So happy to have gotten one. Um, and that will do it. That will do it for this unboxing. Um, really good. Much better than the first one. Had some uh, moments there with the uh, missing hits in the packs, but happy that they were rectified in the in the in the next pack. So. That's great. 
Thanks everyone for watching. If you liked the video, give me a, a, a like and um, a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, for sure subscribe. Uh, I'm going to be doing more unboxings, potentially, if I can get my hands on more Masterwork boxes. Uh, uh, I also do magic from time to time, and um, we'll be doing some more of that stuff as well. So check it out. All right, thanks, and see you next time.